snowflakes. How do we know what snowflakes look like? Snowflake Bentley. A man named Wilson Bentley discovered how to take photographs of snowflakes through a microscope. This is what they look like through a microscope. Snowflake, and we're going to turn it into an ornament. So first we have to fold. You're going to fold your paper in half. It looks like a taco. Then you're going to fold it again in half. And it looks like a fan. Fold it, either leave it like that or fold it one more time. And make it look like a slice of pizza. I like to cut the tip because it'll give me a hole in the middle. Nice design in the middle. When I cut it out, I'll have a diamond shape and I have a triangle where the tip used to be. And then you can cut the sides. It's very tricky. You want to cut, but you have to make sure a shape falls out. If nothing comes out, it's not going to work. The shape has to come out. You have to leave a little bit of space before you can do the next shape. So I don't want to cut right next to that shape. I move my scissors down a little bit. And now I can cut my neck shape out. If I just cut like that, I'm not really cutting anything out. So I have to go across and I'm cutting a shape out. Some people find it easier to draw it first. So I could draw a triangle. Again, I don't want to cut too close to that other shape that I just cut out. And then you can cut on the line. I can cut on this side. Then I can turn it and I can cut on this side. I could cut out a half a circle. I could cut a longer triangle. Make sure that shape falls out. And I can also cut along this edge. I can only cut small little shapes. Please wait to open it until all your cuts are done. Then when all your cuts are done, I like to save these little pieces that fall out. They help me decorate later. And then I'm going to carefully unfold it. The next step is to glue it onto a piece of another piece of paper. If you remember from kindergarten, we open it on the triangle only, not down here, just the triangle part. If there's any dry glue, you want to pick it off. And we're going to just do little dots of glue. It's kind of hard to see those little dabs because the paper's white and the glue is white. But it looks like this. That's all the glue you need. And just make a whole bunch all around your snowflake. When you think you have enough glue, you're going to turn it over. Glue it onto your background. Press gently so it doesn't tear. And we're going to put a hole in it. I'll give you a pipe cleaner to string through. And it can be hung on a tree, on a doorknob, anywhere you like. And with these extra pieces, I can use them 
Ja, und da hat sie gelernt. And I can decorate around the snowflake. If you have any extra pieces of paper that you're not going to use, somebody will be around to collect them. I'll pick a quiet helper at the end of class. Hope you have fun.